Another really nice feature about Schoology and grading is the development of rubrics. Uh, rubrics are things that are tied to criteria. And then you can also give varying scores based on how a student performed or didn't perform based on this criteria. In order to create a rubric within Schoology, what you do is you go to Grade Setup and then click on Rubrics. And what you can do then is add a rubric. So you can put in a title, whatever would be appropriate. And then you'll notice here in the far left-hand column, the criteria. So maybe, uh, you know, based on a project, you have like, you know, presentation, reflection, content, styling, whatever it might be. Uh, you can type in those criteria. Uh, you can then put in a quick description of what would be the, the criteria that you're talking about. If you want to add in a second criteria, you can do the same. You notice that this is based on a four points. Uh, if you'd like to, you can make this any number you want. If you want to make some of these fewer, you can simply make it, you know, either it was there or it was not there. Uh, if you want to make it a five point rubric, you can do that too. So I can make this out of five. And what you'll notice here is the scores will automatically uh, correct and, and adapt. Uh, if you needed to, uh, if you wanted to take a couple points off for some sort of a styling, you could put in even like a negative number. Uh, what could be really good about something like that is you can at least preserve the student's performance on your criteria without taking away from that student's performance for something that, that was marked down. So for instance, you know, a student did a really good job expressing their understanding, but it was handed in late. You might still want to gather the student understood the content, although it was late, but maybe give a mark accordingly. Uh, if you want to, you can also add in learning objectives. And what's going to happen here with uh, Schoology is you have built in uh, standards from Common Core, AP, whatever else uh, that you could use. And so if you'd like to attach some uh, performance standards or uh, learning objectives to your criteria, you can do this. What's great about this is we talk about grading a little bit later on is if you grade based on a rubric, you're able to then uh, get a performance report of how a student is doing over the course of time. So maybe you wanna see how a student is doing with a listening skill over five or six different assignments uh, over the course of a sem semester. If you attach some sort of a learning standard to that, um, that rubric, you'll be able to measure and track that automatically built in here, which could be a really powerful thing too. If we're looking at mastery-based learning skills uh, that we're trying to build out, anchor standard things. And also with a lot of sites, you do have the, uh, the learning objectives, uh, student learning outcomes rather, uh, which could be based on you know the four C's and really creative and, and creating types of practices rather than just simply doing the tests. So it's built in and it's free uh, if you attach those things into your, um, your assignments and also to your rubrics too. So that is rubrics. If you would like to get a rubric from a colleague, uh, they can share it by resources. You can import them. Uh, so maybe you have a PLC or a colleague or someone that you work a lot with. Um, you can bring in those materials from Schoology too and, and use them. And it's a really great tool.